Hey guys, happy Saturday. It's Connor here. Welcome back. Hope you're all enjoying your day so far and your weekend. I'm here for another edition of the weekly wax chat, which is a video that I like to do every weekend where I go over what I've been using in my home to make it smell good. What candles have I been burning? What wax melts have I had going? Um, what do I have in my Crocs, my lamps? We just talk about all of the different home fragrance things. So that's what we're gonna be chatting today. I am basically officially in the fall mode by now. Um, I, I've said this a few times already, but I put together the start of school in the start of fall. So since school started this past Monday, I have basically started fall in my home. I've been burning a lot of transitional fragrances the last couple of weeks, but this week I kind of just went right into the pumpkin, which I know it's a little bit early. It's still pretty hot here. We've gotten some lower temps. It's now in like the 80s. We actually have had a few mornings where it was in the 60s and it felt really good, but um, it's still pretty hot here. I think as we get into September, it's gonna start to cool down even more. And so I kind of feel a little bit better about that. But um, in my home now, I'm basically burning fall stuff, pumpkin spice and all of that. Um, so I'll have a few weeks of that and then we're going to go right into Halloween, probably starting in the beginning of September, probably mid-September I'll burn Halloween, which I, it's hard with Halloween because a lot of it releases in July. So I don't want to review it right there in July because I'm just not ready for it personally. But I do want to review like the Kringle Halloween that I have, the Homeworks, um, the Yankee so I will still review Halloween for you guys. If you wanna watch it, you can. If you don't, then I, I understand. Um, and then right after that, you guys, we're going right into Christmas as well. Um, if you did not see already, Kringle is actually launching their Christmas. I think the earliest that any company has launched their Christmas, which is gonna be on September 7th. So it's crazy. Uh, so of course I will review all 12 of those for you. Um, so yeah, anyways, it's all happening you guys, but let's enjoy the moment that we have and let's talk about some home fragrance. I've been burning a lot of different, uh, fall candles. I've been burning some Kringle, some Yankee, um, doing a lot of wax melts as well. I've really been a melting beast this week. So Lots to chat about. Um, as always, check out that description box. I'll link products. Um, I'll link all of these products that are currently available. I feel like everything here is available, so I'll link it down below. Um, and then also check out the description box for a lot of different links to reviews. So like if I've reviewed these candles, most of them I think I have by now. Um, if I do have a review, then I will upload that and put it in the uh, description box because that really goes in depth into the scent, the performance, the strength and throw. And so if you have any like particular questions or you wanna know more about any of these candles or products, then I'll link that in depth review if I do have one. Um, and then I'll also leave links for videos on candle crocs, candle lamps, um, and hurricanes. So check those concepts out if you are new. But um, anyways, let's get into what I'm currently burning and using in my croc. Um, so currently in my croc, which is currently going upstairs. I've got the last little half of my Chesapeake Bay candle. It's the blue one. Of course, I'm gonna forget what it's called. Um, it's like that, it's not the coconut one, it was the other one. If you guys remember, it was like the sea minerals one. I completely forget what it was called, but I'll link it. But I have the last half of that. That one started getting really sooty on me no matter how short I cut the wicks. So I really um, just put that right in the crock because I was like, I don't have time for soot. I feel like I've been really bad the last couple of weeks about like sootiness, which is not good. Like for example, this is starting to get a little bit discolored. So um, yeah, it's been, it's been bad, but I'm gonna get it under control starting in September. I need to clean my hurricanes because they are getting a little bit dirty. Um, that's one thing that I feel like no one really talks about. You do have to clean your hurricanes because even if your candles are not necessarily sooting, um, a flame is going to put out any like type of soot or just anything that you're burning is going to get dirty. So, um, you know, it, you can contain it, but it doesn't mean it's not going to happen. So, um, yeah, I thought I would address that, but that's currently what's going in the crock. It's doing well in there. It'll probably last me a good 
week probably and then I'll change it out. I actually just changed it out this morning. Um, I took out the pumpkin cinnamon bun from Bath and Body Works. So that's now in the empties pile, which you'll be seeing my August empties next week. So I can't believe we're already here. But um, yeah, so that's what I'm using in my crock. I'm burning right now. I do have three candles lit currently right there in the living room that I'm looking at. I see Homeworks Harvest Bake Shop, which is actually new, uh, or sorry, which is actually in a new hurricane from Homeworks. I ordered um, the gold hurricane from QVC. That's the Homeworks one. And it was on sale and I ordered it and I love it, you guys. I'll show you guys. Um, I'll show you guys in sometime next week probably when i do my candle reviews i'll show you guys but it's really pretty and i like it the one complaint i have is that i wish it was slightly taller because it really only works well for the homeworks candles and then also the bath and body works candles but for taller candles like this it doesn't really work well because this is actually taller than the glass itself so um i'll just have to continue to use like this hurricane right here um, but i do have that new hurricane so i'm really happy about that um if you don't know what hurricane is again check out that video it just goes in depth basically a hurricane um helps with strength and throw um it contains the flames um it helps if you have pulling issues as well because it's trapping the heat so um different uses for hurricanes i'll leave that video um so harvest bake shop currently going in there i love that scent you guys it's such a delicious like fall gourmand scent it's kind of like your classic uh bakery fall scent it's really delicious i did put a review up of it this week i actually had that one last year when it initially released i had it in the three wick though the like white jar three wick which those are not my favorite for a few different reasons i don't love the wicks on them i don't think that they throw well at all um, and so I just didn't really like the performance on that. So I did review that last year and just gave it some negative feedback. So that video is still up if you want to go watch it. Um, that was back when I was starting YouTube and I didn't even have like a tripod. So filming is a little bit shaky, but you can go watch that if you want to. Um, but um, yeah, I put the four wick review up because I do love the scent and it's actually doing really well for me in this format. Um, good strength and throw, great burn on it. So um, that's currently what's Going in the living room right here in the entryway i have yankee candles pumpkin banana scone which i also put up a review of this week that is just such a yummy yummy scent from yankee it's a new favorite for me it's like classic yankee candle um it's ripe banana it's pumpkin it's like a muffin it's gourmand it's delicious you guys i love that one smells so dang good and it's doing really well as well um it only is the two wick one but it's throwing at like a seven and the strength is like a seven so it's doing very well for me so that's currently going right there and then in the kitchen i have bath and body works pumpkin pecan waffles which is one of my holy grails from bath and body works during the fall time so um of course i have to burn one every year i feel like that's like a good transitional scent for me um because yes it is pumpkin but it's kind of like a good like breakfast type scent and i'm filming this at 10 a.m in the morning so it's a good time to burn that one um so yeah i'm burning that i will say it's not performing the best strength and throw is great as always that pumpkin pecan waffles is like a 10 I can smell it throughout the whole house but um the burn is not doing great for that one um it's not getting dirty but the wicks are puny I will say that the first actually no throughout the whole candle it's shown puny wicks because it had those uh white cores in the center or like the metal cores so um I kind of had a feeling that it would get puny and so I might throw that at my crock um but I also might just finish it off I think I'm already like three-fourths of the way done with it so anyways that's what's burning right now you guys let's talk about the other stuff from this week um let's start with kringle because that is what a majority of this is honestly so um i put out reviews for three of the new scents this week which were the pumpkin waffles the autumn spice and then the pumpkin banana muffin now this has actually been a trio that i've been doing so i'm just going to talk about all three at the same time this has been a trio that i've been doing and you guys it is so so delicious if you have all three of these i really highly recommend burning all three together if you have the wax melts do a cube of each all three together or do like one one and then one 
just mix these somehow and you will love it. Um, so for the Autumn Spice, this is like a basic spicy fragrance. Nothing wrong with this scent. I just don't see this being something that I'm like, oh, let's go burn Autumn Spice, you know? But if I'm burning it alongside pumpkin waffles, then I'm gonna be more intrigued to pull this out and burn it. So um, the spice in here works really well with the sweetness that's in the pumpkin waffles because there's really not spice in here. It's very sweet, it's very sugary. So if you wanna add a little bit of spice to this one, then burn this. And then kind of same with the pumpkin banana muffin. I actually find this one to be a little bit lighter than the average. So I think that burning this with it kind of helps and gives it more of a spicy, kind of like a spicy banana bread. I love all three scents, they're great on their own, but if you burn them together, I think that they're really a nice trio. And so that's kind of been my main thing that I've been burning this week in my house. Um, I just, I love that trio. They're all burning good for me. Um, uh, the only one that I'm a little bit upset, this one is lighter, so I wish it was stronger. Um, but then the other two are doing really good. Good burns is always with the 100% soy formula. I really don't have to worry about sootiness or, um, you know, discoloration or tunneling or anything like that. The wicks do great on the entire way down, so I really don't need to babysit them. And um, they're doing really good. So I'm going to finish these up next week. And then I'm going to start some other new ones. I think I have, I feel like I have three left. I'm looking at a pile of them right there. I have one, two, and then I have one more in the cabinet as well. So I think I have three of the new scents left to get through. And so hopefully over the next couple of weeks, those will get put up the reviews. I think I have the bourbon bonfire, apple pumpkin pie, and leaf peeper. Those are the three that are left. So those will be up soon um, and the or the holiday ones and the Halloween ones. I need to do both the Halloween and the holiday. So uh, yeah, lots to come. But I've been burning that trio. Um, some other stuff from Kringle. I've been burning some more of the country candles. Um, my goal is going to be to finish up these this weekend, actually. I've got both the warm Cinnabons and the churros and chocolate. These are also a really good combo. I've liked burning these together because this is just like a warm cinnamon bun, so good on its own. It just smells like an authentic cinnamon bun. Um, and then this smells like a churros and chocolate. I actually think this kind of smells like a Mexican hot chocolate. Um, for sure it does like that spicy hot chocolate. This is really good too. I really like both of these scents on their own, but when you burn them together, they do mix together really well. So I've been doing a lot of blending this week. Um, so yeah, I love these two together. I do need to finish these up uh, so that they can make it into the August empties. But um, I've been enjoying both of those scents. I'll put up both the reviews in the description if you did miss them. Um, I've also been burning some Yankee this week. I. I'm still working on this pumpkin maple creme caramel. I feel like I've been burning this for years now and I'm still not done. The burn on this is very slow, which I know is good probably for most of you, but for me as a reviewer, I do appreciate getting through things quickly because I have to move on and burn other things, especially during this season. Like during the spring and summer, it's not as big of a deal because it's a very long period, but especially during the holidays, um, it's just a very fast period. So I need to get through a lot. Um, and so that's kind of why I like burn more candles at one time than I normally do there in the spring and summer. Like during the spring and summer, you'll usually only see me burning two candles, but uh, right now I'm doing three. So, um, but anyways, pumpkin maple creme caramel. I love this scent. I'm loving this the more I burn it, which is so funny because I was like scared of it at first because I thought it would be cloying, but I really like this one, you guys. If you've not tried this, I do suggest it. Um, it's like a pumpkin, um, well, it's not spicy, but it's like a pumpkin waffle. Um, it reminds me a little bit of pumpkin pecan waffles if you took out that pumpkin and put in more maple and caramel. That's what I think this smells like. I do get pumpkin, but the pumpkin is not overly strong in here and there's really not any spice in here either. But um, I really like this. It's burning great, very clean burn. I mean, this is comparing up with the Kringle burn. 
these signature candles do really well for me um and i do wish this one was a little bit stronger it's about a six for me um so i wish it was slightly stronger i will say the yankee three wicks do great for me for strength and throw they're kind of like the same story as the kringle ones i feel like the signature tumblers do well they're like a medium but just like Kringle, if you want more strength and throw, try out the three wicks. I feel like those are like a seven, seven and a half, sometimes even an eight with Yankee. They get really strong sometimes. And this one is available in a three wick. So I really like that scent. Um, I've also been burning a Macintosh this week. Um, I am still going through my journey of burning my old Yankee candle stash. Um, specifically these original jars here that only have one wick. Um, I've not been quiet that I'm not a fan of these style or of this style specifically. I love the signatures and going forward, I really only purchase the signatures in the three wicks. Um, I just, I don't love the burn of these. I've gone into why um, I don't like the dirtiness of the burn sometimes that I get. I don't like the tunneling. I don't like how long you have to burn these. I don't find the strength of throw to be that great. So, um, and I just don't love paraffin in general. So I'm still working on burning these. So right now I'm burning Macintosh. I'm going to continue to finish and burn this one next week um but yeah i really love macintosh it's a classic scent it is just your basic like macintosh apple but great for fall apple is a great transitional fragrance i feel like a lot of us right now are probably burning more of like the fall fruits maybe your apple your blueberry your blackberry your pears so um that's what i've been burning and then last but not least, in my bedroom, I've been burning the Friday Collective Vacation Vibes. This is my second Friday Collective candle. I had the late nights a few months ago, and then this time when I got my free candle, I went for the Vacation Vibes. I really, I really like this one. The notes are not on the bottom. It was a little disc that I threw away. But this is very tropical, a little bit floral, a little bit fruity, um, a little bit perfumey. Reminds me of Pink Sands a little bit. I think that's what they were going for, but um, it just, it smells great. So really like that one. And those are all of the candles. Um, let's go through the wax melts and then we'll wrap it up. So let's see, lots of wax melts for this week. Most of it is Kringle wax melts. Honestly, um, I've been doing a lot of Kringle. Not a lot of Scentsy lately. Scentsy's actually about to release their fall um, catalog, so I will be placing an order with them. And I was gonna go super heavy on the order and like make a huge purchase because there are a lot of fall things I want to try from Scentsy, including a few warmers. But I honestly just have so much fall um, fragrance, especially in the wax melt department. So I think I'm not gonna go crazy. I might get like at most 10, 15, even 20 bars maybe, but I'm not gonna get like a ton. Um, I like to do them by the six, so you can get the six one free if you buy five, so buy five, get one free. So I'll probably do that and maybe do that like three times and get like 15 bars, um, or sorry, that would actually be 18 bars. But um, yeah, so anyways, that's off topic. Let's talk about what I have been um, melting this week. With Kringle, a lot of what I've been doing is this blend of pumpkin waffle cone and pumpkin French toast right here. I've already talked about this blend a little bit, but I really like it. From the pumpkin French toast, this is much spicier than I expected it to. And honestly, so is the pumpkin waffle cone. This is really very spicy. Kringle loves the spice. Um, this one is a little bit sweeter, I will say that. Um, I'm not going to say both of these disappointed me. They're just not what I expected, to be honest. Um, so I've been melting these together. They make like a traditional like spiced pumpkin type scent. So they've been nice to have going and I actually got through three of each. So these will all be going into the empties bin. So I've been melting those. And then I've also been melting some pumpkin waffles alongside the candle, obviously. Love this one. I will continue to burn more, or sorry, melt more of these throughout the fall time. I have uh, two more of these, I believe. And then um, sugar pumpkins as well. I love sugar pumpkins. This is another classic Kringle. Actually, it's not a classic. It came out last year, but it smells like your classic spice pumpkin. It's so good. This is not that heavy on the spice, so I think that's why I really like this one. But um, yeah, it's really good. And then lastly, I do have three of the wax melt singles from Yankee and the pumpkin 
banana scone, which I'm obviously burning right now and I've been melting these alongside. So I got through three of them. So yeah, guys, that's everything that I've been using in home fragrance this week. Um, let me know down below in the comments. What have you guys been using? I would love to hear it. Uh, let me know down below in the comments. Thanks so much for watching though. Make sure you check out that description box so you can find all the links, all the videos, a lot of different details and information. So definitely check that out on your way out. But thanks again for watching. Please like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new here and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Have a good weekend. Bye.